Let's try to understand how to evaluate inverse of quadratic function. So we are given here a function f of x equals to 3x squared plus 4 and we need to find f inverse of 16. Now how to do such kind of questions? One way to do it is first find the inverse of the function and then find its value, correct? So let's find the inverse of this function. So we have f of x equals to 3x squared plus 4. Steps to get inverses, write f of x as y. So we have y equals to 3x squared plus 4. Next, interchange x and y. So we get x equals to 3y squared plus 4. And then solve for y. So if you have to solve for y, you have to bring 4 on this side. So it becomes x minus 4 equals to 3y squared. And now y squared is equals to x minus 4 divided by 3. Correct? Now after this, let me take it here. I'm writing y squared equals to x minus 4 divided by 3. How will you get y from here? That is a big question. Of course, you will say, well, square root it, right? So what we do here, at, that is we square root both sides. But when we square root, we get y here, right? What do we get here? Whenever you square root, you have to write plus and minus. Don't forget that part. Plus and minus square root of x minus 4 over 3. This is what you get. And now you have your inverse of the given function, and that is f inverse. Let me write x here, but this is not really a function. f inverse is equals to plus and minus square root of x minus 4 over 3. Now you can see for yourself that for a given value of x, we will have maybe two values, correct? Except for x equals to 4, correct? We can have two values for inverse of a function. So first you find inverse, then answer the question. Really the question was determine f inverse of 16. So what is this value? So let's write and solve it for 16. So we get f inverse of 16 actually is plus minus. We'll write 16 here. Square root of 16 minus 4 over 3. So we get plus minus square root of 16 minus 4 is 12. 12 over 3, right? That is plus minus square root of 12 divided by 3 is 4. And that is plus minus 2. Do you see we get two values for inverse of 16? So f inverse of 16 is equals to plus 2 or minus 2. Both are your answers. As you can see from this example, that for a particular value of x, we get two different values of f inverse. And therefore, inverse is not a function. Correct? So the idea of taking up this problem was, one, to tell you, that inverse of a quadratic function is not really a function. It can have more than two values. And second is a method so that we can really figure out how to get inverse of a function and then evaluate inverse of a function at a given point. Correct? So that is how we solve these kinds of questions. Thank you and all the best.